Hi, welcome to the Barbara and Me YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be reviewing the MAM 6-in-1 Electric Steriliser and Express Bottle Warmer. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I filmed my unboxing of the 6-in-1 Steriliser. So if you've not seen that already, um, I'll pop the link below for that. Uh, that just goes through everything in the box and a quick setup of it. But I do a full setup in this video. So the first function is microwave steam sterilising. So you can pop this into the microwave like you would with the, the normal MAM microwave steriliser. It's exactly the, the same shape. Um, but my one was green, was a green lid and a white base. So this colour is a lot nicer. The next function is the electric steam steriliser. So that's with the base and that on top. I'm going to run through how to set, set it up and, and how to use it as well. Just doing a quick run through. Um, there's the Express Bottle Warmer. So it's the same base for the bottle warmer and the steriliser. So you've got the little basket for your bottle warming and then you put your bottle in there without the lid and you've got the gentle bottle warming which works the same as the express bottle warming but it's just a different function on there the fifth function is a defrost and food warming again works the same as the express bottle warming but there's a different setting on the base and lastly the keep warm function which automatically comes on after each heating cycle on the the warming settings so now I'm going to do a run through of how to set up and use the steriliser and then the bottle warmer. Okay, so we'll start with the steriliser. I've put 200ml of water in the base. And then this goes on top that the valve sits on. So I've already got the, the lower basket in there. And this is where the valve connects to the base. Just slot on there. There we go. Make sure it's not moving around because I have had a look at some reviews and some people have said that it leaks. It's just because they've not got it sat on the valve properly. So if you just twist it around and when it sits and doesn't move, that's when you've got it on properly. Okay, so in the bottom basket, I put the bottles and the lids, and you can put up to three bottles in at a time for sterilising and then the upper basket on top just sit that on there like that and then the rest of the bits in the top you can put your soothers in there as well and then the lid on top that clicks into place okay so it's okay. the power button on the left and then the first option is already on the steriliser, but I'll just run through the functions so you can see. So it moves on to express bottle warming, gentle bottle warming, and the defrost and food warming function. So we'll just go back to the first one. And then to start the function, just hold on to the, the big button. And then it'll beep. And then that's it starting to heat up now. Okay, so that beeping means that the sterilisation has finished and all the lights are lit up and that means that it's in the cool down mode. So that's on for another four minutes, I think it is. So it's around about 10 minutes in total for the full sterilisation. Um, from when you, you start it to it being cooled down for you to get them out. So it's it's really quick sterilisation. Okay, so now we're moving on to the, the bottle warmer. Bottle warmer, you don't need the that cover that was on with the steriliser for the valve. It's just water in the base and then bottle warmer basket on top. I've got just a bottle of water just to for the purpose of this video um, just to show you how to use it so bottle in and 
the cover is this way up, not that way up. So cover that way up and the lid has got to be off the bottle. So power on. And then we're pressing the button once to move on to the bottle warmer function. Keep hold. Okay, so once that's fully cool, Okay, so that's in cool down mode, all the lights are lit up again. So we'll just wait for that to finish before we move the bottle. Okay, so that's finished now. So that should be cool enough for you to lift the bottle out. Put your lid back on and then obviously just check on your wrist that that is the right temperature. It does take a little bit to get used to the the amount of water that you need but once you you get you grasp the amount of water that you need you'll get it bang on every time when i opened the box initially and saw all of the different elements of it i was like oh god how, how, how do you work this but it is so easy to set up i have one look at the instructions and it's all pictured, so it's it's so easy to set up. And with there only being two buttons on the base, the power button and the function button, it's it's so easy to use. You can't go wrong. It's so easy to clean as well. You, it doesn't get get dirty really. You still have to give it a clean. But main thing I'd say is just make sure you empty the water out of the base because it does get discoloured quite quickly. So soon, soon as it's cooled down, empty the water and just dry it out just to stop it going discoloured. It gets called mostly a six, the six in one steriliser, but the bottle warming function for me, I was surprised at how good it is. Before this, I was using the Newbie Natural Touch, I think it's called. Just a, a little thing, it wasn't expensive, I think it was about 20 quid. Um, but I ended up throwing that out, not not long well how long did it use it a couple of months and then i ended up throwing it out because it was just so temperamental and it was so tedious getting the right amount of water i was putting the exact same amount of water in every time sometimes it'd be freezing cold for some reason and it just didn't heat up other times the the bottom of the bottle would leak um so i, I didn't get on with that one at all but this bottle warmer once you've got the right amount of water in the base it does take a bit a bit of getting used to to get the, the right exact amount of water it is bang on temperature every time without fail i've not had i've not had a time where i've tested it on my arm and thought oh god that's too hot or that's too cold it's bang on every time so all in all i'm really happy i'm i'm so happy it's grey and white and not green and white because i know it's a little thing but it looks all right in the kitchen now and i've only got one product now rather than different products for different things just one product on its own not cluttering up my kitchen i can't ask for much more thanks for watching if you've got any questions about the six in one just drop a comment and i'll answer the best i can if i can i'll find out for you and if you want to see any more of my videos and reviews just hit the subscribe button bye